Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy, and um, I uploaded a video back, was it a month ago, two months ago now? I feel like it's been two months um, about Animal Crossing. I'll link it right here if you guys want to see it. It's just like little clips of um, my island and stuff. Anywho, so uh, I haven't uploaded anything for Animal Crossing content since then because my Switch actually died. So <laughs> what happened was I dropped it. I don't have any um, controllers attached to it right now or Joy-Cons attached to it because it was dead. Um, literally, I thought it was just like, oh, I broke the charging port. So me thinking I'm gonna fix it myself, I ordered charging port um, parts. So I lit, like, I'll show you what it looks like and everything. Um, so I ordered those parts. It literally took like a month to get here or a month and a half to get here actually. And still, I fixed it. As you can see, I recorded it. I actually did fix it. I thought that was a problem and obviously it didn't work so I took my multimeter and I or not my multimeter my dad's multimeter I tested it using a multimeter and I was like okay it must be the battery so I went on Amazon I know I shouldn't just shop from Amazon anywho um, and I ordered a battery really quickly um, to replace for the switch and I replaced that too and I was like, oh my god, it's turning on now. And it actually did turn on because it wasn't turning on before. I just kept getting like a non-charging sign. It's like a empty battery, but without the charging, the lightning charging sign. And then I was like, oh my god, it's actually turning on. But again, same thing. And it was overheating, which means that it's not being able to charge. Like something's wrong with it. So I figured out that it was actually a um, chip that is in there that is like busted essentially anywho I decided I don't want to fix it myself anymore so I <laughs> bought a new one um, it's just because I was like sick and tired of it I bought it on Kijiji I literally like found someone who was selling it and I was like can I buy it off of you um, and I was just like got it the same day because I am so impatient actually I was pretty patient I should have actually just bought a new one right away but I was like I can fix it myself I'm stubborn in that sense so I'm like I can definitely fix it myself and I tried my best and I didn't and I know right now you guys are probably thinking why didn't you just send it to Nintendo or why don't you get someone local to fix it first of all um, I thought that because of COVID all the like fixing maintenance or repair centers that nintendo has are closed so i was like i can't even send it in so i was like i know how to do some electronic repairs i'm pretty sure i can do this myself and yeah i tried to do it and i obviously bought like the specialized screwdrivers and stuff i even bought a freaking heat gun to fix it like I use this to solder like what is wrong with me like anywho now I have all these tools to use next time if I need to solder anything or like remove paint from the walls I guess um, yeah so um, basically I had to restart my um, island because uh, Animal Crossing does not have cloud save which is lovely um, so <laughs> yeah I restarted my island and yeah I'll just insert some clips of what happened I guess so so far uh, I did plan my island I will put up like a video maybe on like how I want my island to be designed once I have played a little bit more right now I'm just like I went back to May to start I like, put May 1st as the first day I played and on the switch again so that I have ample time to kind of like speed through to play into real time because I don't love to time travel too much but I'm just doing it right now just so I can catch up I'm sad that I lost all my old villagers 
rest in peace punchy <laughs> like i'm probably gonna get him back though but that's okay anyways my new villagers actually no actually before i start i actually <laughs> took like five thousand tries to get like an island layout that was like optimal for myself in the end i kind of gave up so i just put the town hall or like down in the middle bottom and then my airport is like somewhere in the middle left or middle right i can't remember anyways i just wanted it to be center like a lot of, i want my island to be kind of symmetrical anywho it's not like that right now but anyways my first two villagers were rocket which i already had on my old island which i mean i don't hate rocket it's just that she's not my type of villager and i got poncho which is a sporty little cub and he's super super cute and after that who did i move in i got the three villagers i moved in were rex moved in melba and i also got apple which is the cute little hamster she's a pop star uchi not uchi the peppy hamster and then after that i got a campsite villager i believe was o'hare and then i actually have some amiibo cards which i made myself anyways and i got Bo, um which is one of my favorite all-time villagers all-time favorite villagers and i'm super happy about that and i actually invited molly as well updating you guys whenever i get um new villagers and stuff like that maybe i don't even know or i'll live stream it i don't know what my plan is right now with those but yeah anyways i hope you guys look forward to those i just wanted a quick update and <laughs> if you guys were wondering i don't even know if you guys care about animal crossing or a lot of people care about it still but i still have to care because like i want to get to my like perfect island format layout in the future if i want to spend time on it Anywho, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!